Our idea mainly consists of two robots. First, analyzer robot. Second, rescue robot. The primary task of the analyzer robot is to scan the affected area until it finds a victim. The obtained data is then used to generate a 3D model which will be helpful for analysis. By observing the 3D model generated, commands are issued to the rescue robot to reach the specific spot and do the necessary task. That is for example remove any debris or rescue victims etc. The analyzer ro robot scans the arena with the help of an ultrasonic sensor. The rescue robot is fitted with a pair of me mechanical actuators for the purpose of rescuing victims. The analyzer robot enters the arena. This is its initial position. According to the commands given, it begins scanning the arena. For each sweep, the values obtained are either stored in a file which is used later to create a 3D model. The program to which the inputs go also construct a top view plan of the arena which is used for further navigation. After scanning once, it waits to receive commands on how to progress further. This goes until the person controlling the robot realizes that there is a victim trapped or there is a rubble blocking its way. The rescue robot now comes into the picture. The movement of analyzer robot are stored in the file which is used for controlling the motion of the rescue robot. In this way, the rescue robot can reach the affected place without wasting any time. Once in the affected area, the bot quickly clears the rubble and rescues any victims. The primary technique used to scan the arena is via distance. The ultrasonic sensor is connected to the port D. We have used Zigbee for serial communication. And a servo pod is used for pan and tilt motion. This is the 3D scan sweep motion of the robot. The mechanical arms are designed by us to remove any rubble or rescue any victims. The position of the arms is controlled by two servo motors. The bots interact with each other and the main computer wirelessly using Zigbee's. The code for dealing with data and flow of execution is written in Python. Plotly.py is an open source API for different languages for plotting. We have used Plotly with Python to create 3D maps of the input. The plots which we are going to use for our program is known as scatterplot. This is the GUI which we are going to use to control the flow of execution for both the robots. The upper one is for analyzer robot. It contains three menus, scan, move and locate victim. This, the second one is for rescue robot which has four menus, move, grab, return home and release. This is the initial position of the analyzer robot. Here is the analyzer robot in action scanning the area for 3d map generation since this process takes a lot of time we have time lapsed the video for demonstration purpose we are going to show the keen parts of the video in normal speed here the scan is complete and 3d map is generated this is the generated 3d maps using the obtained values from the analyzer robot the flat plan plot is used to analyze and give the next navigation location. Here as you can see we are going to move the bot 20, second, 20 centimeters ahead and take the next scan. <music> Here you can see the next scan has been appended to the previous scan and the plot is generated. Through analysis we can see there is a huge space ahead of us so we are going to move the board 1 meter forward next, and take next the scan. The 3D 
map generated from this scan has been appended to the previous two scans and we can see the wall in front of it clearly. So now we are gonna move the ball 90 degrees to the right. Since we cannot see any obstacle to the right, we are gonna move it 50 centimeter in the forward direction after that. We are gonna fast forward all the next scans and directly show you what happens when once the target victim is located. As soon as we press target victim located, the analyzer robot returns to its original position. Yeah. rescue robot comes into the picture we're gonna test the arms of the rescue robot and then send it navigation coordinate as soon as the coordinates are received to the rescue robot it starts moving towards the victim once the victim is located we're gonna grab the victim and give the return home command. This is the final plot generated by Plotlink. Here you can see the starting position and the position of the victim. The biggest problem and the challenge we play faced was the ultrasonic sensor. The readings obtained from the ultrasonic sensors are not so reliable. Thus the scans which we got were not as accurate as we thought it would be. Secondly, the edges are blown out of proportion because the ultrasonic waves are lost during transmission. It is also difficult to locate victims in this map because the object in this case, which is a bottle, deflects the ultrasonic waves and thus we get a set of lines instead of a point to pinpoint the object. By this time, we have achieved the following. First, the analyzer bot scans the entire arena step by step. Second, all communication between the bot and the main computer is possible and working smoothly. Third, the plot of the 3D map of the entire arena is possible. Fourth, successful tracking and rescue of victims is possible from the information gathered. The only things we couldn't achieve were removable of rubble around the victim and inside the arena and interfacing of heat sensor for target location of the victim. We believe our project is very promising in the field of safety, security and rescue robotics. If implemented on a large scale with appropriate and reliable sensors such as a 360 LDAR, numerous lives can be saved in time.